So let's take a look at how we work with KML in Google Earth. Uh, what KML is, is uh, content that's dynamic. It's content that we can create, content that we can use. Um, for example, right now I'm looking at Amherst, Massachusetts. I'm right in the center of town. And what I did is a search on Four Boltwood Avenue, which is where I work in the Amherst Town Hall. Here's my search results. I can turn it on and off. Uh, that's up here in my search box. See if I turn it on, I get the label for Boltwood Avenue. If I click on here, I get I get that same label plus I get the directions. Now that's KML. Uh, I can take that. I can actually drop it down into either my places or in temporary places. Temporary places is a temporary place uh, where any session data that you download or use. Uh, gets stored. Uh, when you close Google Earth, you'll get prompted uh, on whether to save the temporary places data, uh, in which case it gets moved up to my places, or to discard it. So let's just put this in the temporary places. If we drag it in there, it no longer shows up in our search. Let's just collapse my places. Now if we open up temporary places, now it's in here. Now if I want to, I can right click on it, and I can go into the properties. This actually allows us to take a look at the basic information that's in here. And this doesn't have a whole lot of info to it. It has the latitude and longitude, uh, and it has the name. I can change the name if I want to. So I'll type in uh, Amherst Town Hall. And if I want to, under the description, I could put in the address for Boltwood F. Uh, Amherst MA0102. I can also put in HTML tags. So for example, if I uh, want to put in a link to the town's website, I can do a simple uh, ahref equals and then um, www.amherstma.gov and Town of Amherst website. And this will support any common HTML tags. Uh, Ahref, uh, you can make text bold, you can specify which kind of text. We'll get into this as we go out, go throughout the class over the next couple weeks especially. Um, we can set the color of the label and of the icon. So for example, if we want the label's color to be uh, yellow instead of green, we can do that. We hit OK and you'll see it changes as we go. So we can see it before we even uh, close out of this, this editing menu. Uh, we can up the scale if we want to. Oh, lower it there. And with the icon we can also change the color. So let's make it a deep red. As you can see, now it's a red icon. If we click up here on the icon itself, we can actually pick from many different uh, Google uh, icons. And notice each icon has a URL. So what's getting stored in our KML is actually just this URL to this image. So if you have an image that's somewhere on the web, you can actually pick any image there. So let's pick this building. This is the icon for a school building, but we'll we'll go with this one. And we'll just hit OK. Now we have a nice green school building here. Maybe we'll scale it down a little bit. Notice that the icon color gets overridden if the icon itself has a specific color assigned to it. So this color here will uh, will work if you have a, a, a hollow icon or something like that. Let's take a look at the view. What the view does is it actually sets uh, how far out you are and your heading and your tilt. So your heading would be uh, which way is north. So if your heading is zero, you're going to be pointing straight north. Uh, let's try 90. In the, yep, so see, I put in heading at 90 degrees, and this icon will automatically show up uh, with uh, 
east pointing up so as if we're looking toward the east I can also put a tilt in here now I don't have to manually do this that's kind of a guessing game here let's try a tilt of 40 see how that looks see that's a bit of a guessing game uh, what we can do is we can snapshot the current view so if you zoom into the view that you want your icon to show up in you can just hit snapshot current view and that's going to take the right info let's take a look at altitude now the altitude will actually allow you to have it float up in the air so see now the town hall is floating up in the air we can extend to the ground so in this case it gives us a nice line that tethers it to the ground okay so now we have um, the Amherst Town Hall we click on it you'll see we have uh, the address here we still get the directions that's all automatic and we have our link to the town of Amherst website so if I click on it, that's going to open up oh, what did I do wrong no oh, I needed to do HTTP okay alright so anyhow let's skip back there so let's try to fix that now if we go back in here to properties so what I should have done is HTTP I'm looking for my shift key here colon slash slash here we go now if we hit OK and we open this up now this link should work just fine uh, it's good that I showed that because actually HTTP is not the only protocol that's supported so you could have something that's an FTP site uh, or other things you can have a mail to uh, so that would be an email link and so forth let's go back into Google Earth here so you've seen how we take a search we can also do something more advanced such as finding businesses let's take the suggestion that they have here let's find pizza that brings up this and here are the first 10 I can actually take this search that I've done here just drag it into either temporary places or my places and now I have instant content that I can now edit